this is the powerhouse gym located in Chatsworth, California. For those of you that don't know, here's a fun fact that uh, Chatsworth, California, for a lot of you guys know, is the porn capital of the world. This is where all the porn's made, and uh, there's a good amount of porn actresses and actors on that work here. Not that I would know from what I hear, though. But this is the spot. All right, here we are. We're here at Powerhouse in Chatsworth. Uh, we're getting to work, getting ready to work out. We're here with Perry and Tiffany. They both just competed in the uh, flex bikini at the Olympia. They both did very well. Um, so we just got back, and there's really no time taken off here. We're just going to get back in here and make the improvements, and and hopefully uh, go for the win next year. So ready to do this? Let's do it. So today, today we're going to go work legs and booty, right? I know you guys haven't worked out since. since uh, we have to go fight. <laughs> <laughs> a little cardio session yesterday. <laughs> So right from here, you do quads, you're going to go right into hamstrings, so you're going to go into flying, uh, flying leg goes. Round two. So basically, what we're doing, uh, you know, just like you know, whether you're bodybuilding, you're doing figure, fitness, or bikini in this case. I mean, you're always having to make improvements, especially if you want to compete on that level. Uh, so basically, what we're coming in, coming in and doing is uh, we're going to get take advantage of, you know, like I said, right after the competition, you can come in and eat, and your body's like a sponge. It's going to do, um, it's going to respond really well with the nutrients and the food you're putting in. So we're going to work on the weak parts, and like with a lot of the women, you know, you can always work on butt and legs and more detail and, and whatnot. So that's what we're doing here. We're just going to try to make some more improvements, a little more roundness in the legs and the butt. No, it was actually my second time competing. It is. Okay. How did you like it? I loved it. It Any, definitely becomes a little addictive. Anything want to do it the stand next out one. as far as uh, the competition goes, or any major major events that you just thought was awesome? Or um, you know what? It's actually interesting to see like different level of, of the girls and the different uh, levels of the competitors. And you really like put yourself in the middle of them all. And you see where exactly you need to work, and you know where your weaknesses are, where your strengths are. And how much of the competition is not only the fitness part of it and the figure part of it, the personality part of it too. Absolutely. So what kind of things are you going to uh, focus on over the next year? Um, definitely building a little bit more size and definition. 
Absolutely. Um, I did. I was very fortunate to be able to drop the weight the way I wanted to drop it, um, and I'm more comfortable being on stage this time around. But absolutely, uh, definitely start building a little bit more size and and um, a lot more definition in terms of different muscle areas, muscle groups. That's awesome. Did, did you notice most of the girls were pretty? pretty stout as, um, as compared to you though is that why you're thinking that you need to put on more size um no i just think it's a little bit better of a com i mean it's to me it's 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 more of a competition if you can if you know you can take your body to a different level and and really start focusing on certain areas versus an overall body and where do you see yourself five years from now um hopefully being able to do a whole year's worth of competitions and taking the top five on every single one of them <laughs> Yeah, the Olympia was great. I, I really wanted to do it for the exposure and just to be part of the Olympia show. Um, I'd really ultimately like to do figure one day at the Olympia, so it was awesome seeing, you know, all of my, my fitness and figure icons there, and everyone was so cool and welcoming to the sport, and uh, hopefully I'll be there one day. But uh, for now, I've got some great memories. Uh, came in the top 16 and uh, we'll look to do better next year. So over the next year what I'd really like to do is uh, put on a little muscle. You know, it's always a, a fine line and especially for women as well, trying to lose the weight and lean out, but try to keep someone of that size on. Um, always the lower body is key for, for, you know, coming in and placing well. Um, upper body seems to take shape real easily, but uh, always the glutes and legs are, uh, are the killer parts and the things I'm going to really focus on for next year. Uh, so putting on the muscle, keeping the diet clean, uh, not falling off the wagon so hard this time off season, which I think will allow for a much better comeback. So backstage, getting ready to go on stage, and Alicia Marie is standing back there. She just, I think, is gorgeous. You know, not a lot of real tall women. I myself have always been one of the tallest in the shows, and she's just her symmetry, her poise, her her beauty. She was awesome. Um, mostly say I saw Monica Brandt running out of the tanning, our airbrush session, so I grabbed her, we took a quick shot, she was awesome. Uh, Tamea Majorova, saw her at one of her booths, she was rocking, and uh, it was just so cool, and all the girls were so friendly, and uh, maybe it's because a lot of them weren't competing. <laughs> Catching them off season is always a little nice, so uh, it, it was awesome. I'll show you some uh, variations of lunges that you guys should start working on. Okay. And I'll show you what, you what you'll do is, um, you know, your, your conventional lunges, you'll be like like so. And you know, the deeper you go, the more the glute you're working. But when you come down here, when you come back up, you see people raise their knee. But what you'll do is you'll raise your knee. When you come up and raise your knee, try to rotate this, this foot here. And what you do is when you rotate your foot this way, you're really forcing your glutes to work even harder, so you're building more roundness in the glutes. So, so you'll be like this, you'll be here, up, as high as you can get your knee. Here, up, here. It's not, it's actually fun when you, when you see how you, how you feel afterwards, when you start feeling muscles develop and more roundness, and it's actually fun, you know? So, it's a long stride, and then come up and grab that knee up. Yep. Drive your knee up. So what we we'll do is, for this first round, what you do is just drive your knee as high as you can. Don't worry about pivoting your foot. Okay. Right up high. Good. Each time you step up, it's
and that thing sits in your amazing, man. We don't have much butt, so it's so like flat. we gotta develop ass, you know. So this is this is like a lot of things that I have, I'm having to deal, deal with too, you know. Nice. More roundness in the butt. It's crazy. She doesn't have the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's more sculpting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't do both. So. <laughs> no, those are good. Let's yeah. go one more time. Okay. Step. Uh, remember when you, when you drive up that the planted foot, try to turn it to the hip, try to pivot that heel inward. There you go. Pivot. Doctor. So what you're gonna do? So we get your legs in here. Tighten that down as tight as it'll go. Okay. So you're gonna come all the way forward okay. as if you're like stretching. So keep your arms wrapped around here and you stay forward. So now your your hamstring is already stretched. Okay. okay. And now just flex it from there. See in this position. So keep that. And I'm gonna curl down. Curl down. Start doing these, uh, these uh, leg, seen leg curls. Don't lean back. Always stay forward. You're gonna get more stretch. Okay. Force the muscle to work. Right? Feel that? Sliding the work. Yeah. <laughs> Feel the difference? That's good. Well, maybe one more. Good. Good turn. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
standing up, actually putting more pressure on the bike. Put him at the same angle, leaning forward.